next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add some texture onto the body of our clay. And there's two different um, textures that I added onto my clay. At the bottom, I added in um, like a stone, um, a brick type thing. So a very, very regular pattern. And I had it end approximately at the top of the window. Now I'm just using the end of my paintbrush. And what I want to do at first is come in and put in some horizontal lines like this. And these horizontal lines are going to go all the way around. Notice I'm not using a, a ruler. I'm just trying to keep it as straight as I can. Just like that. Okay. Now the way that bricks work is that they are, they are unevenly stacked. So you want to put in some bricks and then, then the next layer, instead of starting at the end, you're going to start in the middle right here. So just continue that same pattern all the way down to the bottom of your castle. Go all the way around. We can always come back and we can smooth out some of those uh, extra places like that. Just like that. Again, you can take your fingers and you can smooth it out a little bit. So that it looks really good. Okay, so that would be our brick that goes all the way around. The next texture that I added is more of a kind of a stacked stone. So all I did with that is came in and drew in a bunch of kind of wiggly circle-ish type shapes. And I made them um, varied sizes. So some of them were bigger like this, some of them were smaller, and they went right up to the designs of my windows and my door as well. Just like this. Okay, can do a small little one there. Now, if I wanted to, I could actually, let me switch over to the needle tool. I think that I wanna actually draw in a surround. I'm not cutting through, I'm just denting in a design around the outside of this window. And what I'm gonna have that look like is wood. So again, I'm gonna put in, kinda of like I did the door here, some designs and then draw in some wood texture. I think that will give it a little bit of interest when I do that. Okay, and I can also add the little nail holes. I like those. I think they give it a lot of character. There we go. Okay, so back, I'm sorry, back to the outside design. Come around the outside. Remember to try to vary them so some are small, some are big. So this design goes up all the way up to the battlement part of the castle. Just like that. Okay, so continue to do that all the way around the outside of it. Even above the door here. That also creates a really nice uh, texture difference between the window and the stone part of the body. Okay, almost done. All right, 
there we go I've got the body of my castle done now the one thing that I want to do before I attach my castle to my base is I want to try to clean off my area and also straighten up these the top part of my castle like this okay just like that take your castle set it aside for just a second and then I want you to get the base and you want to try to figure out where the wider part of your piece is and we're going to come and just set it on top just like this okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle tool and just gently put some markings around the outside of it so that I know where the bottom of my castle is. And then what I can do is I can score right here. Okay, and then I'm also going to turn this over. And at this point, I'm going to take out my paper. You can take your paintbrush and you, can uh, push the newsprint to the top and we are going to take out the paper towel and so what I want you to do is pull it in to itself like this and then it will come out just like that okay reshape it a little bit if it got misshapen and now it's time for us to score the bottom of this we are almost done make it really really scratched up you really really want to scratch this bottom part up so that it gets really muddy because we need for this part to be super strong to attach to our base and moat. Okay, go over that one more time. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my clay, I'm gonna set it down onto the top here. Let me move this back just a little bit. So I'm gonna take my castle I'm gonna set it on top of my base and I'm gonna take it and press and wiggle down press and wiggle down okay and then take your finger and smooth out around the outside of it take your finger one more time and make sure that there's enough space around the outside of the castle you can take that and kind of widen it a little bit if you need to. Just like that. All right, very good. So our base is attached to our castle. We have one final thing to do, which is to do the drawbridge. And so using, again, some of your extra clay, what we want to do is create a bridge that goes from the door and reaches to the end of our clay. So I'm going to cut a piece that's about two inches wide. What I want to do is make sure that it is the length from the door to the wall or maybe just a little bit past it if I want to create a curved drawbridge. So once you have that clay cut, set that aside. And now what we wanna do, if you want the clay to be curved, if you wanna have a curved drawbridge, then we wanna add a little bit of water to the top so that it doesn't crack, okay? And then you're gonna flip it over and you wanna curve your hand just a little bit, kinda of like this. And then take your hands with some water on it and you're gonna gently rub the back of it, rub the sides of it too, to get rid of any sharp edges. But we wanna create a curve to the, cat, to the drawbridge, just like this, okay? Once we've got that curve the way that we want it to be, 
want to check and make sure that the length is correct. Okay, and then we will score and score and score. You can kind of get the um, score on the corner of that so that that corner is knocked down just a little bit and it'll actually attach way better. Okay, take that press and wiggle, take that press and wiggle, press and wiggle, press and wiggle. And then you're gonna take it and you're gonna press press the edge of it onto the wall as well as pressing by the door just like this okay so let me hold this up so you can see this is how the drawbridge looks when it is raised now if you wanted to add a couple of other things like maybe you wanted to put um, some little lanterns on the other side of the bridge then you could do that you could even do that on top going all the way on top like this um, if you wanted to that's completely up to you um, and then the very last thing that I want you to do is we're going to scratch our name and the year into the side of the base with the needle tool. Just like that. So now I have my completed castle. Oh, I forgot to add in the lines on the drawbridge. If you take your needle tool and lay it on its side, then you can give the wood look to it, just like that. So here we have our completed castle complete with our name, the drawbridge, the battlement at the top, windows, door, extra window at the back, and then the final thing that I need to do is add a doorknob onto my front door, and I will do that right now, and then this castle will be complete.